In the sport at half nine, Neil Lennon tells his players to hold their heads high after their old firm defeat as Celtic and Rangers prepare for the Europa League. And Gregor Townsend names two debutants in his team for Friday's test against Georgia. We'll hear from the Scotland head coach. It is Wednesday night. Hello and welcome to the nine. But before all of that, Laura's here with the day's sports news. And Laura, we heard from Neil Lennon today, didn't we? For the first time since the Old Firm Derby at the weekend. Yes, he wasn't in a very good mood on Saturday, obviously. No. Because Celtic didn't do great against Rangers in the Glasgow Derby. 2-0 loss to them. However, we heard from him today. Lots and he was actually a lot more positive today, especially ahead of the Europa League game, which is tomorrow night. And you're going to tell us all about tell that. tell you all about it. Thank Thanks you very Dan. much. Good evening. Rangers' victory in Saturday's Old Firm Derby was one of Celtic's most criticised performances in recent memory. But their manager, Neil Lennon, says his players should hold their heads high ahead of tomorrow's Europa League game against AC Milan. The Italian giants have arrived in Glasgow to kick off the group stage of the competition. Meanwhile, Rangers are in Belgium to take on a standard Liège side, missing several players who have contracted the virus. Caroline Itzan reports. A superstar... Well, to look ahead to tomorrow's game, I'm joined by Scott McDonald, former Celtic player. He's with us live from the Gold Coast, Australia. Good morning, Scott. It's very early for you. Thank you for joining us this early in the morning. Uh, how, yeah. much, <laughs> how much damage do you think the, the game at the weekend, the old firm defeat, will have inflicted on this Celtic side ahead of their match tomorrow against AC Milan? Fans over here are not happy. Some have criticised the board, some have criticised Neil Lennon. A lot of people are not happy with the players themselves. Do you think there are problems at Celtic or was it simply just a bad day at the office? Good enough and with that, you'll be hoping the performances rise as well. Now let's talk a little bit about AC Milan. As you were saying there, you know more than most what it takes to beat them. You scored a famous winner, I think it was back in 2007, a couple of years oh. now. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't remind me. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting on now. <laughs> Not at all. The all. But they are one of the biggest <laughs> games in football. Does the current team live up to that billing? And start on a positive measure there. And just briefly, Scott, Europe is usually such a big goal for Celtic. However, with 10 in a row looming, uh, Rangers are, are going to be good challengers this year. Do you get the sense that maybe they're going to prioritise getting that 10 in a row over bigger competitions in Europe? Uh, I would imagine so. Joining us on the nine this evening, thank you. No, my pleasure. Take care. Now, the Champions League continues tonight with two English sides in action. Manchester City are leading 3-1 at home to Porto. Liverpool are in... Scotland rugby head coach Gregor Townsend says Finn Russell's game has reached new heights since the fly half last played for his country. Russell could play his first test match for a year after being named on the bench for Friday's test against Georgia. He's back at Murrayfield after walking out on the squad before the start of this year's Six Nations. Townsend will hand debuts to South African born pair. Great to have him involved. Difficult to believe that Finn Russell can get even better than what he was at already. So looking forward to seeing that. Well, I hope he's right. Well, hopefully. Do with it. Yes. Do with it. It's exciting, like interesting few weeks coming up for Scotland. It is indeed. Yeah. Sports back. Brilliant yeah. indeed, isn't it, Josh? <laughs> Thanks, Laura. That's Thank great. you. Cheers, Thanks. Laura. Thank you very much indeed. Now, talking of rugby, Scottish rugby legend.